Every time you board a plane, you put your trust in the pilots. And every time pilots enter the cockpit, they put their trust in computers. It's a complicated relationship between man and machine. And when it doesn't work perfectly, disaster can strike in an instant. Lima, Peru, October the 2nd, 1996. Aero Peru Flight 603 prepares for takeoff for Santiago, Chile. The plane is a four-year-old Boeing 757, a highly sophisticated jet known for its reliability and safety. The jet is among a new generation of computer-controlled aircraft in which pilots are trained to rely on a central data system that is designed to reduce errors, both mechanical and human. Gear up. Tonight, though, within minutes of takeoff, the flight begins to go horribly wrong. The altimeters are stuck. The altimeter indicates how high the aircraft is flying over the ground. It reads zero, but the plane is clearly airborne. As the two men try to solve the first problem, they lose another crucial instrument, the airspeed indicator. The speed. Bewildered by the host of confusing warnings, Captain Shriver decides to land. To add to their problems, Shriver and Fernandez are flying at night over water with no visual reference points. Unable to trust their instruments, the pilots have to depend on information from the ground. Even as they try to return to the airport, the havoc in the cockpit gets worse. Now the stall warning sounds. And then... What's happened? The ground proximity alarm warns them that they're flying dangerously low. Investigators manage to find the data recorders. It was clear to us that uh, there were, they were really experiencing a problem with airspeed and altitude. On the 757, devices called pitot-static tubes measure the airspeed and altitude. They are small external sensors which relay that information to the plane's computerized systems. Deep underwater, tape is discovered covering the plane's sensors. Just before Aero Peru 603 lifted off from Lima, maintenance workers had cleaned the jet. A worker had covered the static ports with tape to protect them. This is standard procedure. But when the maintenance was complete, the worker forgot to remove the tape. It was a small oversight with tragic results. Aero Peru was a deadly lesson about how dependent pilots have become on their automated flight systems.